Hello everyone, my name is Baran Kai Sendol and I'm a freshman student at Peking University and I'm majoring in Electrical and Electronics Engineering. This semester I'm taking Physics 101 and today I recreated the Rubens tube experiment. The Rubens tube experiment was first conducted by Heinrich Rubens, who is a German physicist born in 1865 and conducted the experiment in 1905. The main goal of the experiment is to prove that standing sound waves are also pressure waves. While building the Rubens tube, I shooted a little video. Let's watch it. tube is sealed from both sides. One side is a membrane and the other one is air sealed in order to keep the gas pressure stable. The perforations on the tube is equally distanced in order to get the best visual results. After opening the gas wall and regulating the gas pressure, we can finally start sending sinus waves with different frequencies in order to see how the flames will react. Now I am sending the first sinus wave. The first sinus wave is 50 Hz and the estimated was 48. We can clearly see at 50 Hz there is a standing wave. Now I'm sending 137 Hz in order to create a standing wave. Estimated value was 143. Now I'm sending the sinus wave with 228 Hz. The estimated value was 239. Now I'm sending the last sinus wave, which is 318 Hz. The estimated value was 334. hypothesis was standing sound waves are pressure waves and today I proved it. The Rubens tube reveals a flame pattern. The different sound generated by different frequencies are controlling the harmony of the flames. The amplitude of the waveform is changing throughout the experiment. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked my experiment. Stay safe. You ask me if I have a God complex? Let me tell you something, something. I am a God.